Welcome to this Draw My Life about Mickey Mouse's suicide. Miska, Muska, Mickey Mouse! Well, today we're going to be serious. Can you remember the most famous and sweet mouse of Disney? Yes, sure, we're talking about Mickey Mouse. Forget about that. There is a myth about his death in a videotape that kills everyone who watches it. This story that went viral on the internet says that Leonard Moulton, a Disney producer, found the cartoon while he was sifting through all Mickey Mouse cartoons to decide which ones would be used for a DVD compilation. He found an unpublished Mickey Mouse tape. It was one of the first Mickey cartoons ever made around the 30s, and it was called Suicide Mouse. Moulton decided to watch the video, but the screen went black and he thought the video was over. Anyway, he decided to digitalize it because it was a Disney video. When he did it, he realized the video was longer than he thought, and after the black screen, Mickey appeared again. In the video we can see a very fallen Mickey walking down the street. The creepy music in the background sends shivers down your spine. Suddenly the image starts to fade, and the screen goes black again. After six minutes we can see Mickey again, but everything looks a little bit different. We can see distorted images and hear messy and horrible screams in the background. Moulting was so upset that he left the room and had an assistant finish watching so he could take notes for him and lock it away. It is said that the assistant stumbled out of the room after finishing the video and said, Real suffering is not known. Seven times. Then he grabbed the guard's gun and killed himself. However, this mystery goes beyond that. At the end of the video, we can see Mickey's face. He's smiling. The frame contains a Russian sentence that roughly translates to The sights of hell bring its viewers back in. Does this mean that Disney viewers should be psychopaths? Disney workers mustn't show the video that it's locked away. Nevertheless, there are several videos on YouTube about this suicide story, but where is the real video that was found in the Disney studios? It is said that all the videos we can find on the internet are made out of the story Moulton told, and that's why the last two minutes are missing. It is well known that Walt Disney has always been related to the government, and it is said that the suicide video had something to do with them. The CIA was involved in the video. It was an experiment associated to the MK Ultra. The project consisted in an experiment based on mind control after a trauma caused by the video. There are also comics that show Mickey Mouse's suicide attempts. Not a single one turns out well. This comic was written by Floyd Gottfredson, who had nothing to do with Disney. The company censored this comic for a long time. But Mickey's suicide is not the only suicide animation that we can find on the internet. There's also a video about Squidward's suicide. Yes, SpongeBob's neighbor. After a clarinet concert, everyone starts booing him. Later, we can see him crying at home, and he decides to kill himself. The Disney world has always been surrounded by weird stories and myths. The most popular myth is about Walt Disney being frozen and waiting to be awakened several years later. And we ask ourselves, will Walt Disney wake up one day to tell us his experience? Probably he will be amazed with all the stories surrounding him. If you like this Draw My Life about Suicide Mouse, you can give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. Write in the comment section down below what you think the video means.